Oh, thank you. Oh, Lord. Oh. But yeah, like I was saying, look at Red Bean. Like I was saying, I think we should just stay friends, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not ready for a relationship. Like, you know, I'm just not ready for all that right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. Damn. Crispy chin. You say you cooked them? You, you did it? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bread, too? This ain't Jip. This from scratch? Oh, Lord, shit. Sure. Now, you cook this like this all year round. It stays the same taste like this all year round. Well, I don't know, baby. Look. You mind if I take my Amex off? Look, check this out. I'm going to take my Amex off for a couple of years because. I've been thinking since I've been sitting here eating on this that you might be right. We might do need to get in a relationship because um, real talk, I've been hungry lately and these women I've been dealing with, they, you know, um, this is the taste I've been looking for. So, uh, you want to get married tomorrow? We, you want to get married tomorrow? Because yeah, that look like that was going to happen. I don't want to be single no more. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go and get married tomorrow. And uh, I'm going I'm to bring my little TV and my little VCR that I got. My four pair of boxes that I got at the uh, crib with mom and bring them on over here with you because look like this is my home. Look like I got a phone to have home. Mm. Chicken from scratch, you? Mm, mm, mm. Go ahead and get your uh, your uh, bridesmaid together and uh, see what you want to have a wedding there, baby. I'm in. I'm all in. I'm all in. Oh, I know you lying. A uh, Coke? Oh, my God. And a cup of ice? Yeah, baby. Matter of fact, who you want to sing at the wedding? Who you want to sing at the wedding? Book him too. Book him. Book him. That's who you want to sing at the wedding? Book him. I'm paying for everything. I, I, I see about 20 more years of my future right here in this house. Mm -hmm. That's a matter of fact. Hold up. Let me get all the way comfortable. We're in a relationship now. Marriage. I swear to God. <laughs> that knot was scarfing. Boy, he was he was scarfing. <laughs> and he don't went to from not wanting to get involved to taking off his shoes, <laughs> saying he's gonna move his stuff in. <laughs> to tell her she wanna get asked if she wanna get married and ask if she want bridesmaids. Well, that fool was banging. See, that's what I'm trying to tell you, young people. See, look, these young guys out here, you look, young, young men, I, I feel bad for y'all because y'all got these modern day women these days and y'all ain't getting, y'all not getting that. Most of y'all, you know? But I told you, go out into them rural areas, get out there and get them country girls, boy. The country girls raised right by their, by their mothers. I'm telling you something real. No, I mean, I'm talking about going rural areas. Go out there, them, them, them females, they be doing the horseback riding and be riding them horses and stuff without saddles. <laughs> hey, look, I'm laughing, but I'm serious. Them, their mothers and grandmothers will frown on them if they see them not treating the man right. I'm telling you something real. I remember one time I was going with, the, I was dating this young lady, right? And this was some years ago. I was dating this young lady and she had a friend. And we went to Charleston, South, we were in Charleston, no, no, we were in Columbia, South Carolina. She had a friend. So we were just, we were driving from Florida to, you know, up north, right? So we stopped doing with a friend. She said, I have a friend that lives in Columbia, South Carolina, so let's check her out. So, all right, cool. So she was married to this guy and he was pretty cool, man. He had a, she had a husband and um, he had family from Charleston. And she said, her friend said, hey, hey, why don't y'all come with us? Because, because we just popped up on him. Said, why don't y'all come with us? We're going to Charleston to, to visit my husband's family. And she was like, oh, okay, I don't know. So she asked me, I said, heck yeah, let's do this. So we drove, you know, we got in the car with them. They drove up to Charleston, South Carolina. And all oh, was all this land. These people built their own homes and stuff like that. People had a lot of land out there, you know. Our folks had a lot of land, you know. So anyway, we were in a... <laughs> We were, in the, we were in the house, and the women were in the kitchen cooking and stuff like that, you know? And, and they finished, you know, after everybody ate, that food was so good. After everybody ate, everybody got up and started to leave, right? So my girl was with them, too, with us, you know? We started to leave, and she started to leave with her, and them women in that kitchen said, uh-uh, 
uh-uh, come on back here. And she said, huh? Said, come on back here. Let the men let the men go out and do what they got to do. Let, them, let the men go. You come in this kitchen with the women, and you're going to help us clean up. She was mad. See, but that's the difference, you know? That's the tradition that they have, you know? And it's still going on to this day. I've seen some videos that said that, you know, African women are, are very submissive and stuff like that, which is cool. I'm not, I'm not saying that because, you know, I got a comment from one of the African brothers say, hey, you need to come to Africa. You're talking about submissive women, really good women, women that treat you good, this, that, and the other. But if you don't have the money to go to Africa or to go far, because, you know, African sisters, they come over here and some of them get Americanized quick. They get Westernized quick. So, <laughs> you know, it just be from where they're from. It won't make a difference, you know. What I'm saying is this. This is what I'm saying. You don't have to go out to out, out of the country to find a traditional woman. All you gotta go do is go to the country. But anyway, my man was scarfing, boy. He was <laughs> at night. <laughs> he was scarfing. <laughs> see, see women, I'll tell you, you modern women, y'all watching. I'm talking about the modern women. I'm not talking about traditional women because I know, and I'm not being, I'm not gonna be biased and say all. Oh, you know, young people in this generation, young women don't know how to cook. I'm not saying that because you can have some women that are brought up in the city, but they have their parents have traditional country values. You see what I'm saying? You know, so I'm saying with an exception of those, but I'm talking to you young ladies, the ones that don't know how to cook. That's the power there. See, it doesn't take much to please a man. It doesn't take much to please us. Seriously. It doesn't. Good cooking. Just put a plate in front of us. Let us feel like a man for a change. Make us feel like a man. When a woman, a good food, you, did you see the plate? That boy started, <laughs> he changed his mind with the quickness, didn't he? So, young ladies, I hope y'all learned something from this video. You know, if you don't, you know, hey, what can I say? You know, hey, what do I know? I haven't been, you know, I've just been on this planet a little while longer than most of you out there watching this video. I know what I'm talking about. And ladies, Tell you, the way to catch a man, the way to get a man is through his stomach, from his stomach to his heart. But you got to, but the other things have to come with that. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn to work with each other and stuff like that and treat that man like a man. That man will treat you like a woman. Now, if it's an abusive relationship or something like that, the man being a knucklehead or something like that, okay, I can get it. Get the heck out of Dodge. Get out of there, you know? But most cases, don't say, you know, I'm not talking to the, the, the women in the I don't need a man community. I'm not even talking to y'all because y'all, you know, y'all got your mindset to y'all don't need a man. Y'all going to be, like Kevin Sammy said, y'all going to, she might as well get a dog, you know, get a companion or something like that. I'm talking to the young ladies who haven't been tainted yet. Seriously. Cook that man a plate of food. Stop all that nonsense. Play cake.